a very rare person because she not only has originality and extraordinary vision, but she also has the determination and the ability to make things happen. What I really love about her is her tenacious attitude. She's not always had it easy at the Green Man, but she's kept going. When other people will have given up, she keeps going. And she's always been a brilliant friend to me and mentored me and always been the first to buy me a consolatory gin and tonic. When I was the director of the London 2012 Festival, I had a nightmare project. I needed someone brilliant to solve it. There was no time, no resource, no help. Everyone said she's the only person and she did it. I think the thing about her is, is that she, in terms of putting the audience first, I'll give you a really simple example. Late last year, she just sent me an email saying, I really kind of think we could do more in terms of literature at The Green Man because there's a lot of people that come down that are authors, there are a lot of people in bands that are writing books now. And what is there that we could do that would add something to the festival? And I think that's how she views what she does. It's like, how do you make the experience better for the person that's coming to the festival? She's absolutely determined to find and support emerging talent. Not, not something that happens everywhere in the music festival's business, but something that she is a shining example of. And she's also determined to help communities, and communities maybe that don't have a lot. So the project she worked with me on was in Newport, a very deprived part of the world, where she made an incredible once-in-a-lifetime festival with and for those people in Newport. She doesn't just run a business with great integrity, guts and pizzazz. She's also well known for her support of new artists and good causes. She's particularly supportive of young people, giving many their first confidence boost and inspiring them to succeed. Her ambition and hard work has made Green Man the festival it is now. It's special because of the location, the care and attention put into the festival and the, and the selection of bands that they have just makes it for quite a unique experience. And of course, the rain, the incredible weather. I believe Fiona's sorted out the weather as well, so next year it's gonna be sunshine all the time. As well as her amazing attitude, her tenacious spirit, she's also the only person I've ever known to eat a pickled egg whole. She's an inspiration to many programmers and artistic directors like me and many of the people that I know. She so deserves this award. She has achieved so much and I know she's got a lot more to give. Well done for giving her this award and congratulations Fiona. I think she deserves this award because actually what she's managed to maintain is the idea, which is slightly old fashioned, that festivals can be a family run organisation and that you can invest your heart and soul in them and that will actually benefit the festival itself. And I think that is why she deserves this outstanding contribution award. Fiona really deserves this award because of her strength and her dedication, what she's done for the industry, and the fact that she'd managed to build the Green Man into such an amazing festival. She has such a passion for Wales, and she's not even Welsh. She's like Wales's secret PR weapon. On behalf of Wales, Diolch and Fiona.